Welcome to Made Simple. Today we're just going to be covering how to create a random number generator within Excel. And Excel makes it super easy, so hopefully this will be a quick video and you can get on your way. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe and smash that like button. Please, it will really help me out with algorithms and, and help me grow a little bit. Excel basically has a function that will do all of this for you. So for example, let's say we have a minimum value and a max value we want between our number set. So we want it to generate, let's say, a random number between 1 and 100, and then 101 and 1,000. Oop, not 100. 1,000. And then let's just say 1,001 and 2,000. All right? And so then we'll put our random number here. Um, and let's just go one more, 2001, 2, 3,000, let's say. We just want some random numbers between those data sets. So we can simply use the ran between function here in Excel, select that, and then all it's asking for is it wants a bottom and a top. So a min and a max, basically, kind of how we put it. So the lowest number that it can display is a 1 and the top would be a 100 in this case. And then we can drag this formula down to apply for all of those. And here we have random numbers generated. An important thing to note about this function, however, is any change on this entire worksheet will change the random numbers generated. For example, if I just put a one randomly here, all those numbers will change. If I delete that, all the numbers will change again just completely random for every changed value or cell on the worksheet. So if you want to, if you want a set of random numbers and you don't want them to change, Excel will calculate them. And then what you gotta do is you just go ahead and copy that. And then you can paste these as number values. So that way with every input, these will continue to change, but the, the, the random numbers that generated originally will not. All right. So this is generating random numbers between a given set, right? But let's just say you have a bunch of random numbers and you just want to randomly pick one, maybe for lottery or your bingo number or something, right? So let's just put some random numbers in here. I guess we could use the random number generator, but let's just say these are apartment numbers, so more specific. And let's say we're, we're looking for an apartment. All of these are apartments are the exact same layout and everything. Um, and so we don't really care which one we rent or live in. So we're just going to have a random number at, uh, Excel randomly generate one of these to choose. <laughs> or choose to choose one of these. Right? So you got to get a little bit more cam complicated here. We're going to continue to use the ran between function. Um, but instead, before that formula, we're going to do a choose func a choose formula. And then we're going to type in our random between. And so we need a bottom and a top. And right here we have one, two, three, four, five values. So we're going to say the bottom is one and the top is five. And then we need to select each of these values. So we'll just do a comma separated by a comma and go ahead and hit enter. And it will choose one of these randomly or at random. And it will choose one of these at random to display. So it looks like we're living in apartment 4 or 500, right? Um, and again, this will change with every input in a cell. It will continue. Um, but the difference between this, the ran between function, and putting a choose function in between is that this is more specific. All right, make sure you subscribe and smash that like button once again, please. All right, now that's pretty much it. Um, random number generator. Um, if you have a set of values or a range of values, pretty easy to set up. Or if you even have a given amount of, um, if you have given values and you just want Excel to choose one of those, also very simple. Random number generator, easy to use. Hopefully this was um, easy explanation and that you could recreate this pretty easily on your own. All right, and just to finish us off, as always, make sure you subscribe and smash that like button. Thanks, have a good one, bye.